Recon Crown Preparation 3 and Item Grabby Baggy 2. Recon Crown with a Zeke's Herald. Who? Zeke's Herald. We also drop an Ezreal. We have, a, we have a Death Blade. I am super down, guys. I am super down, bro. I am so down. Wait, that's actually so cool. Um, okay, so I need to figure this out. I need to figure this out real quick, guys. Okay, so you drop an Ezreal. So we already have four recon, by the way. Um, I, I need to figure this out, bro. This is not good. I have a Death Blade. Where's my Death Blade? I need to figure this out, because I'm pretty sure... There is no way we don't roll for one Kale here. I'm pretty sure there's no way we don't roll for one Kale and we go underground. And it's gonna be a super sick game, guys. Because we, we can go recon uh, Belveth. I hope it got fixed, where ranged Belveth still does the attack normally, you know? Oh my goodness, guys, we don't have to roll. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, Recon goes on this for now. This goes on this. Death Blade goes on this as well. Whatever, bro. Wow, guys. Wow, what a good game already. What a great game already, man. What a great game, no? Look at this, guys. Holy, what a crazy emblem. Let me tell you about the Recon emblem, guys. Recon... First of all, they gain two hex. That's innate range. That's crazy. Then they also have this little passive where if someone is next to them, when they're casting their ability, they dash away. So that's crazy. Then on top of that, they get crit chance. And at four recon, they get maximum crit chance because everyone has base 75%, uh, 25%. So gaining 75 means you get 100% crit chance and their abilities can crit. So that is just silly willy, guys. That is just a silly willy instantly. And it scales like this. It scales like this. Like, now I have uh, three recon. It goes from two to three, you know? It, it, it is a nice little increase. It doesn't... It's not one of these traits that goes two, four. It goes two, three, four. So I'm already gaining a lot of bonuses just by playing... Uh, one additional one. So this is crazy, guys. And we got the Ezreal out of it. We got the Ezreal out of it, right? Out of the emblem. Uh, out of this augment. So it enables uh, uh, turn one. Um, or turn two, uh, you know. Underground. And on top of that, we got a Zeke's, which is a really good item. Uh, oh yeah, guys. This is amazing. I feel like this is something I will take a lot in ranked. This seems really strong. I am not sure if this might get... Maybe I'm fully overblowing it. Because at the end of the day, playing 4 recon is still hard. Because you have to play 4 ranged units, which is a little bit squishy, you know? But... Yeah, I mean... I don't know what to tell you, man. Maybe I should still go for Last Whisper, no? I think I should still go for Last Whisper, bro. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have gone Hurricane. The thing is, what do I play? Do I play Recon... Do I play Recon Samira? Last Whisper is good. Do I play Recon uh, Belveth? Last Whisper is good, but not needed. If you catch my drift, guys. I'll make this look easy. Because uh, we definitely need Lifesteal on Belveth. I don't need to play Recon Belveth, though. What, what, what else would you guys, would, would you guys play uh, Recon? How good is Deathblade? Deathblade is really good now. Deathblade feels really amazing in this set. I can't really give you the math. It just feels really good as an attack damage item. It just feels amazing on a lot of champions. I, I think it's mainly because a lot of champions have huge AD ratios. Like, Samira has a 500% AD ratio. Recon Urgot, holy. Recon Urgot should be fun. Belveth should no longer get locked while casting her ult. But it doesn't mention Recon. Okay, thank you. Thank you for re researching that, me. That should work. Recon Z to check how he would behave. He would behave very bugged. 
Just like he did with the bugged, uh, uh, with the s scope weapons. So don't put range on Zed. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really do much. Recon Aurelian Soul isn't bad. Yeah, that's true. True. We can even go at magic that. You know what? I do like that th suggestion. Because the thing is, what if I get AP items? Okay, we definitely continue the heist. What if I get AP items? Who gets them? I mean, I guess it's Kaisa. I guess it's Kaisa that gets the AP items, huh? Oh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. AD ratios are crazy to set. Yep. And it doesn't need a 3 star for full power. It does. That is the misconception. Best version of Deathblade I've played. It's definitely the best version because of the AD ratio. But this is the misconception. This is the misconception. It still scales. It still scales. Just the same as it did before. The earlier Deathblade scaled with the star level. And this one scales as well. Because it is 40% bonus attack damage. The 3 star has much more attack damage than the 2 star. So it still scales just the same. You know? It still scales exactly the same. What would happen with a Recon Nunu? Oh, I don't know, man. It would probably be really weird. Maybe we can check it out. But I'm already losing a lot of health. You know if Syndra works with Fiddle? I know she didn't a few days ago. Uh, last time I tried her, she worked with Fiddle, yeah. She didn't work when I tried it the first time. But then when I tried it again, it worked. So she should work. This is a weird, this is a goofy team, man. I'm 64 health. This is not looking too hot. We'll see what happens. Recon Belveth. I, I think Recon Belveth is so far the best here. But we'll see. Oh, Guardbreaker is not even that bad. I, I, I like Recon Aurelian Soul. Like a guaranteed crit Aurelian Soul is not bad. Uh, who, who, who are gonna be our four recons, by the way? Ezreal, this, this, and then just the emblem. Probably, right? We're not gonna play Ash. Yeah, for sure. We are not gonna play Ash. Recon Jax will be pretty good, of course. It depends on the hero augment, no? We might get a hero augment right now. Might get a hero augment here. Hmm. I could also go Recon Samira. That would be crazy amounts of damage. Recon Emblem, Last Whisper, and Deathblade would be insane. QSS. A Belveth Hero Augment would be insane here. Belveth Hero Augment would be the best thing I can get here right now. Uh, because it gives lifesteal to Belveth. And a crazy amount as well. I would just go Deathblade. Uh, Hurricane and Re Recon Emblem. The crits are really sick. I'm taking a lot of damage, guys. Lots of damage taken. Which is not too good. But we have a lot of money. Oh my. Now that is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely insane. That is absolutely insane, man. 16 to level, 16 to level. Do I want to level here? Probably. I, I want to wait with the items, right? I really want to wait with the items, man. I don't want to... Uh, I'm pretty sure if I find Velvet 2, I'm going Runans. But other stuff, like Samira, I go Last Whisper for sure. Wouldn't you rather have a supportive augment with 4 recon? No, I want the Belvet to just go crazy. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure you don't... Like, th these things are not going to do that much. These two. I don't think I'll have items for them. I'll go for full tank items. Full tank items and Belvet. We will struggle really hard with tanks. Because we will have to play 4 recon units. We have to play this, this, and this. And these three are almost dead units. Because I'm not going to 3-star them. I'm not going to have anything on them. So, even if I put items on them, I'm never going to 3-star them. So, they're not going to carry their weight, these three. So, I'm already playing uh, three units down. 
But I'm really empowering the Belveth a lot, so... Could be worth... Holy... Holy Windfall level up! <laughs> He's going fast 9, alright. Underground? Oh boy, that is not looking good for me here. But I'm down for Recon Urgot, man. I'll keep it a buck. That's such a high roll. The Celestial Blessing is the biggest high roll, yeah. Uh, found you about a week ago on YouTube. Finally catching you on stream. Welcome to the stream, Mr. Crimson Man. Welcome, welcome. Uh, hear me out. How would Recon Nunu work? Yeah, yeah, someone else, else said that as well earlier. Uh, I'm not sure how it would work. Because Nunu uses his ultimate every 3 seconds. Or no, every 3 seconds Nunu gets 30 mana. Uh, passively. Because he doesn't attack, of course. So he gets mana from that and from getting attacked. Okay, nice. We're at 11. We definitely decline one more time. And then we pro probably take the next cash out, I think. Probably take the next cash out. Um... I want to send it to 8, but I might not be able to send it to 8, man. What a, what a garbage. <laughs> what a crazy carousel, man. Mm, I'm not sure what to go for. If I go for Sunfire and Dragon Claw, it's so good. But I really want... Actually, don't I want Last Whisper, bro? Last Whisper also gives more crit damage. Because they made it so overblown. Uh, okay, continue heist. This is pretty good, though. But continue heist. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I go this. Last Whisper is good. Last Whisper is good on Belvet. Hurricane is really good. But Last Whisper is gonna raise the single target damage by a lot. Last Whisper Death Blade. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Frick it, man. I think this is too good. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna burn one cloak and then have hurricane, which is best in slot Belveth, But then I have a QSS man, and then we have a very awkward crit item. I think last whisper is perfectly fine because again they made it so if you go past 100% crit, no matter how you do it, even if it's a hodge or whatever, it gives you some crit damage. It's not a good conversion, but it's not wasted. It's not, it's not something you want to chase. It's not like, yes, I have 100% crit. I'm going to give him give this person triple hodge or something to get a bunch of crit damage. That is not worth. That's not how it works. It's just so you don't feel bad if you... Oh, I have a recon emblem. I have 100% crit. But I really want the last whisper for the armor pen. Uh, but I'm wasting the 20% crit. That is a huge waste, right? But uh, this is not going to be the case anymore. It's a little bit of a crit damage increase, so it's fine. Probably like a 10% damage, uh, crit damage increase or something. Uh, what's up, Chinpo? I missed your face. Did you get the new cam? Yes. Very, very, very obviously, no? <laughs> uh, if he dashes with the recon, it's going to be decent. Part of me thinks he won't dash, though. Yeah, I feel like the Nunu won't dash, but I'm not sure. We're definitely stabilizing here a little bit, guys. Like, we're winning sometimes. Which, is, which uh, surprises me a lot. Because I was bleeding a lot of health at the start. This is going to be a sick game, man. This might even be a non-hero uh, augment game. <sighs> but now it's definitely going to be 4 cost hero augments. So if it's a Velvet augment, I'm chilling. I'm going to go full lifesteal, man. Even if I have Celestial Blessing already, my Velvet can go infinite if I get lifesteal Velvet augment. What is the supportive Velvet augment? Oh, it's she. She spawns two Z0 portals. It's not really that interesting, is it? For us here. It's not bad, though. It gives us frontline. Would be bad either. Mm. Also gives us the Belveth instantly. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. What will we need this game? So we need one more uh, win or loss, and we will pop this. So we definitely just sack one more turn here. We pop uh, the thing. We pop the thing, and then we level up. I shouldn't have pre-leveled, because what if it's level up? I don't really want level up, though, do I? I, I never really want level up. No Tear is not good. Oh. I'm so down. I'm so down for Spear of Shojin, Recon Emblem, uh, Aurelian Soul. 
I'm really down for it. That would be super cool. this man whatever can't really think of anything right now i kind of want to keep him i feel like he's always useful to keep i don't think we'll ever go three star ezreal i would literally if it if it offered me a three star ezreal right here i would not buy it because it's a waste of money so i'm not going to keep it on my bench from the get-go i thought the cam was a gif and you weren't Real, my immersion is ruined. No, bro, it's a deep fake. Yeah, it's a deep fake, man. You always pop on my, my YouTube on recommended. First time here. You are an awesome dude. Keep up. Thank you, Mr. 2D. Welcome to the stream, man. Glad that YouTube uh, is sending you my videos. Into the night. Gain a Z. When you field him, your team gains. I'm re-rolling this for sure. That is crazy, bro. Style and flair. Your strongest Sona grants her two nearest allies 50 mana. I think we go this. She has 25% attack damage. When she scores a takedown, she restores 50% of her maximum mana. Don't we go this with Recon? I think we go Recon her. Is that bad? I got, I got completely cucked. Do we do this? I feel like we got completely cocked. Oh, holy. Holy, bro. Are you kidding? What the frick is that, man? That is just one shot everything. And then she gets ult back. Oh, wow. Okay, that's gonna be really good. I just need to not die now. I just need to level up here and play the, I think, Senna. Or some Sure Shot. Actually, we don't need Sure Shot, man. Sure Shot is a grief now. Holy double DB Samira. That is crazy, bro. Can we just ditch this now? I will use you well. Take care of the greater good. Open your Are we stable? Alright, we're stable, we're stable. Whew, it's gonna be a rough game, man. It's gonna be quite the rough game. How do we get the most stable here? I think this is it. Warmogs. Okay, War Monks, and we get the guy. Alright, so we I think we need Aegis here. Lots of magic damage, right? Magic, magic, uh, ma magic, magic. Um, six laser core is a lot of magic. Admin, magic, uh, magic, 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 yeah, magic, 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 magic. Everything is magic. So we play Aegis. That is for doodly darn sure. Don't need this. Keep rolling. Stabilize fast. There we go. Get the brawler. Get the brawler, Aegis. Okay. <sighs> uh, put this here to double Zeke's. Okay, I hope we're fine. Holy man. A little bit rough. The Fiddlesticks is really lucky. I can come back. I think. 
Just need two stars Samira. She's gonna get those takedowns and then just keep ulting. Keep repeatedly ulting, man. How much attack damage does she have? 214. 1168 damage. Physical damage on ult. Luminous Deathblade. 100% bonus attack damage. Holy, that's a crazy item. That is one crazy item, man. That was such a lucky underground uh, thing, no? <laughs> that was such a lucky uh, cash out, man. Nice. Big, guys. Big. Let's go. Let's go. How much ult? 1,800 damage on ult. Let's go, guys. Let us freaking go. And we have underground in because of Vi. I didn't even realize. So we can get some small cash outs, man. Not a big deal. But not a small deal either. Whew, close, 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 man. I, I dropped so low. But I think I'm really strong now. Double Aegis. I need more Aegis, man. Now we just level to 9, right? We hit every 2-star we need. Except for Vi. Okay, no, no, no. We still have these guys. But do, do I even need Brawler? I think I don't even need Brawler. Holy, she dashed away. Nice, barely won. Uh, we have ace, right? Yeah, we're not running two aces by accident or anything crazy like that. We're not gonna three-star the vein. Uh, I feel like we go Galio instead of... Nah, Brawler is actually fine. Brawler is fine. And the Sejuani is good CC. Otherwise, I don't have enough CC, right? I do have a decent amount of CC. Aphelios is a trap, I think, because we have so much damage. We can't go even Sure Shot now. Sure Shot is not... Not gonna be that good. I want I want to burst the enemies down with double death blade, Samira with uh, recon, right? I don't wanna scale the thing, but I definitely need two star frontline. That's the biggest issue I have right now. I need a two star frontline. Oh, spatula. Spatula. Mascot. I mean, um, actually, Ox Force, right? Ox Force? Ox Force, probably. Oh. Um, Laser Core. Oh, these are all useless, huh? These are completely useless. Ionic Spark. Tear. Laser core. Uh, BT probably. Holy, we got more doggy dogged right there, man. I, I really didn't get anything useful. I didn't get a single useful item. Wow, I'm gonna die. Oh, that was so disappointing. I, 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 I got. I, I feel like this game was really unlucky. Like I didn't get a lot of good stuff this game, man. I have to just take this. Oh boy, that is not good, guys. That is not good. I need a two-star front line. I think I'll sell the sell the fiddlesticks. The fiddlesticks is a little bit of a trap. Oh, maybe not. I'm trying to equip my dude. Now we can go BT. Hmm. Rough game, man. Rough game. Did we lose to a physical player? Oh, nice. I'm trying to equip the dude that has the uh, that has the two star. You know, I need to be as strong as possible right now so I don't die. Rough game, bro. But it's a very close lobby, right? I definitely feel like we could have gotten some better items there. That's a little bit unfortunate. I mean, this spatula, I got excited, but I didn't get anything. And then we just roll for this guy now. Oh, 
Oh my. Okay, that's crazy, bro. Oh, that's so lucky. Okay, there's the luck. There's the luck, guys. There's the luck that was missing. I should have sold him and put the bell, uh, the Warmogs on her. Alright, there's the luck, guys. There's the luck. The luck is back. I think now I'm kind of stable. And now we, if we can win a couple in a row, we get 15 gold again from the underground thing. We get 15 gold from underground. We might be able to go level 9. And at level 9... We can put some more tank units, man. Just more tank units. Leona, doesn't matter. Just tank units. We just need to be as tanky as possible. Because this will definitely kill the entire enemy team. If we get the tanks. I think it's easy rot. I think it's easy rot on this. Uh, another little tank unit that spawns out of it. Should be good. We frontline him. Even though he has Archangels, it's still fine. I just wanna I, I just want him to stun the enemies. I don't want him to be in the back line and then just uh, attack after everyone's dead. He's almost never works. Almost never works, guys. Works if you're you know if you have reliable other tanks, but right now we only have these three. I'm pretty sure I have to No no no, I can't roll. I can't roll. Because I'm sitting at one echo. This heart thing is just... Not too useful, huh? Maybe we'll get something better at some point. Wait, what? Yeah, we, we didn't get that lucky, guys. Compared to some people... We definitely aren't that lucky, guys. <laughs> Compared to some people this game. Three star Zoe. I'm pretty close to her as well. She's gonna bubble us very soon. But we can lifesteal. Ah, she has Morello though. Nice. She keeps ulting. See? The ult resetting. So good. Look at this. Nice. Yeah. If I get the train going with the Samira, it's really good. Oh, nice, man. Two people died. Alright, we're, we're sneaking up. We're sneaking up in the in the ranks. I, I, I don't think I can hit Echo in 20 gold. So it's, it's like rolling for nothing. Three-star Soraka? Someone hit a three-star Soraka, no? Or am I crazy? Oh no, two-star Soraka, okay. If I fight him, it's GG. Please don't fight him. Please, please not that Diego. <sighs> oh, that is just so lame, bro. Oh, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. But he has Ox Force. Oh, he got stunned, he got stunned. He CC'd. Oh my god, we killed 3 star Viego. Huh? He, it, it was perfect. Okay, I know 3 star Viego is underwhelming. I know, guys, that's what you're thinking right now. I know, he is. He's gonna get buffed, I know. But he's still strong enough to kill that, unless he dashes into Sejuani ult, then the Fiddlesticks fears him, then his uh, thing po pops, his his uh, Oxforce pops barely, he's still in the Fiddlesticks ult. There was a lot of lucky stuff there, okay guys? You, you don't, usually uh, that, that guy should win the game. That was just pure luck, guys. No, nothing else to say. Fiddle item. How much damage is the Fiddlesticks doing? Oh, he didn't do anything. He, uh, I, I, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure uh, Rabadons should be good. I think it's better than Thieves Glove on her. It's too random. I think a Rabadons should be pretty good on Fiddle. Am I gonna roll here? I mean, I have to roll here. Right, please don't cock me with the positioning now. I hope I don't get cocked by position. I should have rolled for two star. Echo. I'm gonna put, do this. Oh my god, I got one shot almost. I'm gonna get one shot by the Talia. Oh, big ults. Big ults though. Big CC. She's gonna keep ulting. No, she's almost dead. Ult, ult. She's bugged. 
Zonios? Oh man! Did you see that? Whoa, that game ended so quickly. But did you see that? She didn't ult. Oh, what a crazy game. Guys, I'll keep it a buck 50. I was getting tilted right there. Because, I mean, we got really lucky with the underground uh, cash out. But holy, the roll down was crazy, right? And the augment, the augment, right? We could have gotten Aurelian soul augment. We would be fine. We would be super strong. Uh, we could have gotten Belveth Augment. We'll be super strong. I have nothing indicating that I want to play Samira. I get Samira Augment. Fine, we still take it. Not ideal. Uh, but it still worked very well. But then the Fiddle just, uh, you know, saved us. The items we got were pretty, you know, unfortunate. But then the Fiddle just hard saved us. But bro, that last fight... I feel like... I mean, I, I repositioned her. If I'm not in the Talia wall... But I feel like she wasn't ulting. She, she wasn't like attacking. I don't know what was going on. But that was the craziest game of set 8 so far. Because that... Like I was at 1 HP. And then I get 3rd. But at the end it ends. You know. Like the, end, the game ended so abruptly. I feel like. Like uh, 3 people died. Next turn 3 people died. Next turn game over. You know. Absolutely crazy guys. Hey. Subscribe or notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also make sure to leave an algorithmic comment. And an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views and I'll see you next time. Peace.